You're going to want to use the bookmarklet. Here's how to install it. Click here. Right-click Add to Watch Now. Select Add to Favorites. Click Yes to continue. Our bookmarklet is perfectly safe. Now, the next part is important. Open this drop-down menu and be sure to select Favorites bar. Click Add. There's the bookmarklet in your Favorites bar. It's really easy to add the bookmarklet to Firefox. Simply drag and drop. Installing the bookmarklet makes it easy to add new videos to WatchNo. Suppose I found a good video on YouTube. To put it on WatchNo, simply click Add to WatchNo. Here's how I might edit the video information. Choose a category like this. Click Science, Life Sciences, Plants, Photosynthesis. As to the title, we should remove the producer's name and put it down in the producer field. The owner, by the way, is the same as the producer in this case, so we can put it there too. I want to add that this is just a snippet. I delete the unhelpful description that's there and write in a quick but helpful one of my own. A snippet from an amusing song with simple animation. The song is cut off after a short time, but the snippet is fun. I might want to elaborate that later. It's on the short side. Now, the license. It's proprietary because it's owned by the producer. My best guess at the age level is 7 to 18, but you can edit this if you disagree. Finally, while I liked the video, it is just a snippet, so I'm giving it three stars, meaning usable, a perfectly respectable score. Hit save and the video is successfully saved. Let's talk about how to edit the directory. I'll work in the British Isles History category. Let me open it up. Here it is. I want to rename the whole British Isles History category. How do I do that? Right-click the folder name, then click Rename. I'll type in History of Britain and Ireland. Press Enter and I'm done. It automatically updates. What is Medieval England doing here? It has no videos in it. I think I'll delete it. To delete it, simply right-click the folder name, then select Delete, then OK. I guess William the Conqueror belongs under a History of England category, but then we need to create a History of England category. How? I'll right-click just above where I want the category to go, choose Add New Category, type the name of the category here, After Add This Category, select Below. Maybe I should write a little clarification about this category in its description. This category concerns just the history of England, not the entire island of Britain or the United Kingdom. It's very helpful to have little notes like that. So, now I can move the William the Conqueror category into the new History of England category. How? Just drag and drop. And there's the new location of William the Conqueror. Next, I'll explain how to move a video from one category to another. 
Let's say I was looking in the Edition category, and I came across this video listing, Introduction to Edition with Carrying. I noticed that it would be better placed in a subcategory, Edition with two and three digit numbers. How do I recategorize the video? I simply grab the title and drop it into the new category. Now let me open up that category. There's the video. You can also recategorize a video from its own display page. Here's a video about Magritte. You can see that it is in the Artists category, but it really belongs in the Magritte category, which is here. How do I move it? Simply grab the title and drag it to the new category. Now let me open up the Magritte category. There it is. Finally, just let me quickly point your attention to some handy features of the system. Click here to go to the change log. You can learn here what has been going on recently in the system. Notice that there are four tabs. Click here to go to the leaderboard. This lists the accounts that have put the most videos into the system. Click here to go to the edit queue. Now this is something different and I hope interesting. This puts videos roughly in order of priority. If you want to help out, you just click here to edit the first one. See editing tasks? The system actually tells you what to do. This one tells me to rate the video. So suppose I rate the video. I can click here to save my changes and go on to the next item in the queue. And I can click here to return to the queue. You might want to click here and play around with the handy filtering options. Finally, I want to show you your profile pages. Click My Profile here. There's lots of tasty stuff here. I'm not going to go over it in detail, but I did want to point out the Statistics page and the Favorites page. And note that all of these pages can be made public or private. They are private by default. We really hope you'll enjoy contributing to Watch Now. As I hope I've shown, it's not too hard, and it really is a great resource for kids.